welcome to Shauna Ray Cooking and Cleaning for Busy Moms. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys another keto friendly recipe. You guys seem to love my keto recipes so I will keep sharing them with y'all. If you did not know my husband has been doing keto since August. He took a little bit of a break during quarantine but we are back on it full speed and so I try to cook as many like keto meals as I can so we can eat together as a family. Tonight we are going to be cooking Salsa chicken is a recipe that I found that just looked amazing. I have been craving everything like queso and salsa and like chips and dip and tacos and all that type of stuff lately. So it sounded really, really good to me. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I made salsa chicken and then how I served it at the end. Stay tuned. And since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like I found my purpose. Uh, Okay, you guys, for this recipe, you are gonna need two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Mine's been sitting out for about an hour and a half. You're gonna need a half a cup of sour cream plus one cup of salsa. I'm just using this kind that we like. You're gonna need also one cup of shredded cheese. It says shredded cheddar. This is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna be using. And then the recipe doesn't call for any like spices or anything besides uh, chopped cilantro. I'm not a huge fan of cilantro, so instead I'm gonna be just seasoning my chicken breast with salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. Um, and so that's the ingredients. And then you're gonna use a baking dish. And then I'm also going to butter my baking dish, so I have a little bit of butter. The recipe also doesn't say you need to do that, but I'm going to, so <laughs> that's what you need. And I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 375 degrees. I'm just gonna go ahead and butter my dish. I just took a little chunk of butter and a paper towel and I'm just gonna rub it around on the bottom and sides of my dish to make sure it's all greased. You could also totally use like olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, anything like that as well if you don't wanna use butter. I love good old fashioned butter though. And if you're eating keto, you're probably trying to get some of those fats in anyway, so butter is a good option. Now that the dish is buttered, I'm just gonna go ahead and open my chicken breast up and I'm gonna lay those down flat inside of that. Mine's actually two and a half pounds of chicken breast, but that'll be fine. We're just gonna go ahead and put those in there. And then I'm gonna season these with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Set that aside while I get the salsa mixture ready. Okay, so I've mentioned before on my channel, but my family actually hates like chunks of tomatoes and onions and peppers and things like that in our food. So whenever I have something that calls for like salsa or rotel or just like canned tomatoes or anything like that, I always blend it up really, really good so it's like really, really fine and so we can't really tell that. We don't get like the, we don't like bite into a tomato or bite into an onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a cup of my salsa. This is our favorite salsa and we actually eat this a lot on chips, but I am just gonna go ahead and puree it just a little bit more since we are putting it on top of chicken. I just don't want any of like the large chunks to be in there and for us to bite into them. So I'm gonna go ahead and puree this and then I'm gonna mix it with the sour cream and the cream cheese. I just pureed it a little bit. It's just a lot thinner. And I'm gonna add the other ingredients. I'm gonna start off by adding the cream cheese, and then we'll add the sour cream. So it's eight ounces of softened cream cheese, which I've already softened this one. Okay, so now the cream cheese and salsa is mixed and I'm just gonna go ahead and put half a cup of sour cream in there as well. Cutting it a little close, a little tight there. But... Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so it's all blended and I'm just gonna pour it in on top of the chicken breast. And then we're just gonna go ahead and top it with our cheese. It says to use about a cup. I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna kinda throw some on there until it's all topped. <laughs> Now I'm gonna stick this in my preheated oven for about 25 to 35 minutes until the chicken is all the way cooked. I ended up cooking mine a total of 45 minutes because my chicken breasts were pretty thick. But this is what it looked like in the end and I just love the sight of like the bubbly cheese all over it. It was so, so good. So I just served ours with green beans, which I know is not keto friendly. You could totally do a salad or something else instead. My whole family loved this dish. It was really good and we all enjoyed it. That is it for this recipe, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As, I, as you guys saw, we all loved this recipe. My son gobbled it up. My husband and I both ate it so well and then it made awesome leftovers too if you guys try this recipe out make sure you tag me over on instagram at shauna ray videos if you are new to my channel and this is the first video you're seeing make sure you hit that red subscribe button i do post new recipe videos every single week as well as some cleaning motivation too i'll see you guys in the next one bye y'all